Hey guys, we're continuing our coverage here at CE Week in New York City. Yes, we are. And it is almost the end of the first day. We've been going live all day long. My How's throat is a little scratchy, but I'm feeling good. I'm I'm just happy because we're surrounded by awesome technology. Stuff that we've like reiterations, new iterations of things we've seen before and some really cool new stuff. Yeah. Which our next guest is going to be showing us. That's right. We've Ryan got... from Taxi Treats. Yeah. Absolutely. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good. We are excellent. How's excellent. the show been treating you? It's wonderful. A lot of people here. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> a lot of audio. Yeah, there a is a lot of audio. Yes. You know, that's a trend this year that is audio, 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 audio. Yeah. In, in terms of like the Bluetooth speakers as well as headphones. In the last year and a half, it's been just crazy. I guess that tells us something about the way people are consuming information. Yeah. They're really getting into their portable devices and and uh, best way to uh, yeah. listen to it, I guess, is with your own port personal hearing. Yeah. But you know, something else people consume is food. And like, for example, I just brought brought some some popcorn for John Wonderful. while we were here at the show. Who doesn't want popcorn? Everybody wants popcorn, or like maybe a Reese's bar exactly. or something like that. I like your style. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna but like our product. I, I think I, I think I might. Why I don't you so. tell me where I'm going with this? Yes. Yeah, so we are all about giving people what they want, when they want it, right where they are. We don't care what we sell. It's we want to sell things that you want. So one night, late, late at night, I'm riding home in a taxi and I'm like, there should be snacks here and spawn taxi treats. So we built a team of aerospace engineers. We built a high tech mini vending machine from scratch. No way. So we do all the design, all the manufacturing, the assembly, the testing, the software in-house. We have them operating uh, as Vengos in static locations across Manhattan. We're in bars, office buildings, tourist sites. Wait, wait, wait. So uh, you're saying taxi treats, but you're in multiple locations. Yeah. So it's not just about taxis. It's about anywhere, anytime, anything. Wait, exactly. I'm, I'm st hang on. Hold I'm on. still wrapping my head around yeah, something. I had time yeah. to prep on this one. He, <laughs> has, he had no clue this was coming. Are yeah. you so. telling me that you put vending machines in taxis? I, I don't accept that that taxis are not supposed to have vending machines. I think they should. I value the way you think. <laughs> so as you can imagine, in a wonderful city like this, with 13,400 taxis, yes. it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. So we yeah. are making substantial progress mm -hmm. on getting these machines into the New York City taxis. In the meantime, we launch machines all over Manhattan. But then that's the Vingo. That's our Vingo brand. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so, so Taxi Treats are... is our taxi mobile vending machine. That's not just taxis, but black cars, shuttles, tour buses that we're working on. How about yeah. city buses? Exactly. Yeah. You could put them in anything. Let's but, put them everywhere. Uh, right. Why not? So, I want one in my car. <laughs> so let's start with the Bingo Labs, the yeah. Bingo brand, which is everywhere but like the moving cars. Exactly. How big are these devices? How big are the vending machines? Because yeah. obviously it's not like one of the things that we're thinking about. Yeah, so the Vengo machines are two feet tall. Oh, there's one. A foot and a half oh. wide and only four and a half inches deep. How so, do I get everything I ever yeah. possibly want in that little How thing? How do you do that? That is the magic of Vengo. Okay. We have a team of aerospace engineers who are crazy smart. And Did you duplicate one of those Star Trek devices where you just walk up and you're like, Earl Grey, <laughs> warm. Done. <laughs> and they know when you say warm, exactly yeah. what that means to you. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we customize the exteriors. We make them completely on brand for cool locations. We talk to the people and say, what do you guys want in your Vengo? And we deliver it. We manage the whole thing remotely. You can see that one's in a marble lobby on Madison oh, Avenue. Oh. Holy mother. So no vending machine could be in this lobby except for ours. 
just hanging on a post like a picture frame. I don't understand. What would I get? What, tell me, like, let's go back to that lobby one. Yeah. That's a nice building. Yeah. That thing is integrated into the What are they offering there? Can I get a, what can I get? A, a Snickers? I want a Snickers bar. Yeah, so we focus on tech and convenience items. So we have cell phone chargers on the go. We have headphones. I lose my headphones all the time. A USB yes. stick. Yup. USB yeah. memory yeah. stick. Exactly. <gasps> Although, you know, those aren't really selling that well. Really? I think it's because everyone's using cloud-based services, right. Dropbox, yeah. whatnot. Um, yeah. And then we throw in a little sugar rush. We do Sour Patch Kids, M&Ms, gum, mints. So Gummies for John. Gummy bears, gummy worms, we, gummy yeah, anything. You better, really. you better say yes even if you don't. Just sure. say yes. We do gummy everything. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so we also can mix up the items. So I know every time someone touches the machine, every time someone purchases, when something's not selling, we try something new. Okay, let's talk technically a little bit because you, I think I heard you say something about you remotely manage them. So yeah. does that box have like a Wi-Fi in it or what's yeah. it got in it? So we leverage whatever's available. Okay. Um, oftentimes we can leverage an existing Wi-Fi network. We run some tests on it. Um, sometimes we use Ethernet and sometimes we use our own uh, so Verizon work. hotspots. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. And so the, the person who, obviously you partner with the people who own the building and all of that, yeah. they tell you what they want in it yeah and they um I, I assume that they would take you know suggestions from their quote-unquote customers and, exactly. and tell you and you could switch that stuff out yeah um, now let's talk do a little bit. Do you do bit. like a rev share with the building or do you do something where you lease the space from them or how do you do that yeah in so in Manhattan we have a pretty easy pitch we will customize the machine, customize the product mix, give you the machine for free, and we'll give you a small rev share. Okay. We okay. focus on it being an amenity yeah. because for a large Manhattan building, you know, our rev share is not going to change their lives. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but it, but it's good for the good for the people who yeah. are there. Yeah. It's good to have that convenience for sure. What I think is the most interesting side is on the brand side. So we do point of purchase digital media. We can do videos remotely, we can do user engagement, we can do slideshows. So we're taking point of purchase, we're taking an online level of analytics and bringing it offline. So we want to change the way that brands interact with consumers, they launch products and run really cool creative experiential marketing campaigns. Paul Dixon in the chat room wants to know exactly what your top seller is across the board. Top seller, yeah. hands down, Sour Patch Kids. That's unbelievable. Okay. People like and Sour Patch Kids. I think they kids. actually guessed yeah. that. Chaotic Infinity guessed it. That's funny. Chaotic Sour Patch understands kids. people. <laughs> it does. Okay. That, okay. I, I want to go back to the management thing. Um, so you've got 10,000 of these machines all over New York. Yeah. You have to have on the back end a serious uh, interface in order to manage that. And, yeah. yeah. And, and like... Would it tell you when something is out of a particular item? So you send a truck to service the machine? How does exactly. that Exactly, yeah. So we built a back end from in the house from scratch. Um, we can see a feed of purchases. We can go into each vending machine, see the inventory. We can actually communicate with the machine. So it's constantly sending us logs. We can see what the Wi-Fi strength is at any given moment. Um, check that everything's online. So we're constantly communicating. The machines see are sales, alive. See yeah. sales, dollars, generally. Exactly. All that stuff. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. All right, and, and now the taxis because yeah. you guys won for that particular idea. You guys won like some award. Or yeah. So contest. we were named by the New York City Economic Development Corporation, New York City Next Idea 2012. Awesome. So we are leveraging that um, and what we've built and reaching out to the city and taxi yeah. owners and taxi technology companies and we're going to get it done and we're going to get these in taxis shortly. When do you think somebody like me coming yeah. from Dallas, I come here like three to six times a year. Great. Uh, when do you think that like I just pop in a taxi randomly and get some Sour, and patch, get kids. Some sour patch Kids? Yeah. Yes. So I would say, let's say first quarter 2014. That would be amazing. That would be pretty awesome. And then, yeah. and then and I, we're, we're getting the wrap up, but have you also 
have you yet begun any discussions with other cities? Because yeah. New York is not the easiest place to get it's this not. going. It's not. I got you, Norm. But how about other places? I'm staying on all day. You guys yeah. are going to have to <laughs> drag me out of here. Exactly. <laughs> so New York has by far the highest amount of passengers per car per day. Do you okay. guys want to guess how many? Uh, passengers per car per, per day? Car. A uh, hundred? No, five hundred. No way. So fifty-one. This didn't really work out the way I was okay. expecting it. <laughs> anyway, but there's no other cities that are really above about eighteen. Oh, okay. So we, this is the craziest market, but we love to do the other taxi cities: Chicago, Las yep. Vegas, Miami, Boston. Yep. That's gotcha. awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, very cool. Thank you so much for telling us All more right. about this, and like now you guys will be able to know exactly what's running it when you see this in a Manhattan building or a taxi. I can't wait to start buying gu- uh, Sour Patch Kids out of the back of I my I just want taxi. a Reese's cup. That's all I want. A Reese's, well, you'll get one. <laughs> Thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you.